YouTube, it's your boy Tinker Vision. We back with another video, man. This is really gonna be a banger, y'all gonna see. All right, so as y'all can see, I'm starting a haircut off by combing everything off the scalp, going over it multiple times, making sure everything is off the scalp. You know what I'm saying? Getting prepared for the haircut that I'm doing. And today I'm going to be doing the high taper, keeping a beard with a two guard up top. And with that being said, of course, I go in with my two guard with the lever closed, making sure everything is at that desired length, staying precise. You know what I'm saying? You got to get everything down to that length. Make sure you go over it multiple times because with this type of hair, all the hair don't be cutting just with one stroke. You know what I'm saying? You got to stroke the hair a lot. Make sure everything down to desired length. As y'all can see, I'm going, I'm staying consistent. And this is my first video of 2023. You know what I'm saying? Happy New Year's to everybody watching this video. This year going to be my year, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. No kizzy. All right, so starting off this fade, I will be debulking first. You know what I'm saying? Just clearing the bulk at the top and then starting a true feed so i'll go on my four guard just clearing out all the bulk at the top just making my job easier you know what i'm saying so when i set the guidelines it just come out more efficient and then i go on my trimmers setting that first guideline which is the bar line you know what i'm saying just staying consistent make sure everything bald and straight you know what I'm saying? So when you have a, a straight guideline, you come up with a more efficient cut, more efficient feed. And then you want to go in with your actual clipper. My clipper, I'm using the babyless clipper. And you want to go ahead and set the second guideline with the lever open, going up a full inch. Staying consistent, making sure everything is at that desired length. After you set that guideline with the lever open, it should be a line remaining at the bottom. And to take that out, you want to close your lever fully and drop down and take it out in the flick out motion. And keep in mind, when you take it out the bottom line, don't flick at the line. Start at the bottom of the line and flick up to the line to stay safe. Go ahead and grab my one guard with the lever fully open, going up another inch. You know what I'm saying going back over the guideline, making sure everything is even, even and neat. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure your feed come out clean, and it's gonna come out clean by setting neat lines once again. And I go ahead and close my lever as y'all can see, with the one guard still on to soften up that line. With this type of hair, the line would not fully come out. So I would have to go back with the zero guard. And this would be the first video that I ever did that. I ever used a zero guard. I didn't use a zero guard in months. And that being said, I go ahead and put on my zero guard, the lever fully closed, just taking the line fully out. As I can see the fade is coming out crunchy. <laughs> That's what I like to see. And then right now I got on my one and a half guard with the lever open. Just clearing out the bolt at the top. And I meant to mention this earlier, but this client did have a do-rag on before coming in. And he ties his do-rag extremely tight. So that little line that y'all gonna see was not an actual line. That was just a dent in his hair that the do-rag line set, if that makes sense. Then I go ahead with the lever open once again. 
just detailing, just taking out that line that I see at the bottom of the one and a half guard that I just set. Just taking it out fully. That fade is super clean. All right, so now we on the sides of the head. The best part. So with that being said, I go in, send that first guideline, which is the ball guideline, the same thing I did on the back, I'm doing to the sides. You know what I'm saying? Just clearing out that, that C cup. You wanna take out the C cup because it's a high taper, so it's gonna be no curve. I'm getting it as broad as possible. Then I grab my savers, just getting it as broad as possible, getting the hairs closer to the scalp. I go ahead with my lever open, just fade in the beard, doing the same thing that I do to the fade to the beard, the same exact steps. With that being said, I go ahead with my lever open, setting that second guy line, leaving the vertical bar dark. I go ahead and throw my one guard, the lever open, fade in the beard first. And then I go up to the actual taper and set in that third guy line, the lever open going up a half an inch. And as y'all can see, the lines is like, the lines I set is neat. So this taper is gonna come out super clean. Y'all should be able to tell by the guy lines. Then I throw on my two guards, just really clearing out the bolt to make a smooth transition within the feed. Just clearing the bulk at the top of the feed, making sure everything is at the desired length. And after the two guard, we're gonna skip the three guard and throw on our four guard. You know what I'm saying? Just clearing out the bulk that's at the very top. You wanna clear the bulk that's behind the air and at the top at the same time. Cause behind the air gonna need to get shaped up later on to make the fade more clean. I go in with my one and a half guard, just really opening and closing the lever. Just taking out any lines I see underneath the guideline except the two guard. I wanted to lighten up the vertical bar more, so I throw in my one guard to lever open. Now I'm taking out the ball line with the lever closed flicking to the line and really adjusting the clipper as I go up using the corner of my bleed. And I go on my Andy's Masters is doing detail work, just clearing out any little dark lines I see using the corner of my bleed, just letting my Masters do its thing. As y'all can see, man, that fade was clean. And really on this side, I'm really not going to talk much about the, the cut. I'm just tell y'all what I got planned for, for 2023, man. Like, 2023, I really feel as though it's going to be my year. Like, I feel it in my gut. I feel as though, like, I have so much content dropping for you. I have so much planned. And I feel as though it's going to be amazing. I feel as though y'all going to love it. You know what I'm saying? We going to drop consistent bangers, bro. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be more consistent. Get a video out like every single day. Keep y'all updated. And really just do my thing, man. It's my time to shine. I'm going to go up. I'm telling y'all. Y'all might want to stick with me until when I blow. I'm like, Yo, I was a loyal subscriber. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I really just feel it. And I am doing a giveaway out of 1,000 subscribers. I don't know if I want to do a giveaway, like, giveaway to one of my subscribers or, like, walk up to somebody and, like, give them something that's important. Probably, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to say what I got in mind, but, yeah, y'all get the picture. But, yeah, man, that fade is super clean. Super clean. Anytime y'all see me touch the hairline, y'all know we getting prepared for the blessiness. <laughs> I don't even think that's a word, but get prepared to get blessed.
my client don't want his his hairline too dark so i go in with a two guard it gets the green just really lighten up that just lighten up his hairline and i go ahead and spray hairspray on all the edges of the head even on the beard you know what i'm saying getting it prepared And I always line up the back first before the actual front line up to get out the way. You know what I'm saying? And as I can see, my clippers hitting, man. I just go ahead and just line up the back, keeping everything natural. Bending down the air. Just staying smooth. <laughs> y'all know that look real smooth. Y'all can't even cat. You know what I'm saying? When it's time to do the arches wrong the air, you want to just bend the air and just use the corner of your clipper. You know what I'm saying? Just stand precise, locked in. You know, the same thing you do to one side, you do to another. You know what I'm saying? Just making sure everything nice and neat. As I can see, that, that back taper is clean. I start my lineups off by shaping up the vertical bar first. You know what I'm saying? It just makes it so much easier for me. Because all I got wire by is just start going to the middle of the head. And then working my way over when the vertical bar is already lined up. So it just makes my job so much more easier. You know the same thing you do on one side you gotta do to another the same as that thing i just did to the left side i'm doing to the right hand side line up the vertical bar first and then go to the middle of the head and work the way over to line the vertical bar don't be scared to go up in the corners you know what i'm saying you notice know, my favorite part right here i go ahead go on my razor just angling my razor, stretching the skin. As you can see with this hair, you gotta comb it and make sure everything is straight because you'll comb it and then it will be loose hairs. That's what I did. I went back and combed it. I saw that it was more hairs hanging over the hairline. I went back and did this thing. I went back. I went right back to the straight razor. You know what I'm saying? I'm lining up the bear right now, just keeping everything natural. That jaw is sharp. I came with cap. So the first ash line you make, you want to brush or comb that ash line off because underneath that ash line might not be the actual lineup. It just might just be the hairspray you sprayed or the ashiness that was on the client's skin. You know what I'm saying? You want to do that so you can see the actual lineup. You know, the same thing you do to one side, you got to do to another, man. Right now, I'm just ready to let y'all watch me work. And I apologize for not having me doing this on the other side in this video because I genuinely forgot. And with that being said, man, I go ahead and spray my spice on this client. Burn his face off. As y'all can see, that's spice. <laughs> yeah, man, that's the end of the cut. I hope this video satisfied y'all. If you made it to the end of this video, like, comment, subscribe. My client know he got blessed. <laughs> and we out of here, man.